Hey guys, this is Austin. Alright guys, so today we get to look at the Power Brick Portable Charger by Hypertech. Alright, so let's just go ahead and get in the box. Alright, so opening it up. Alright, so getting right into it, we have our battery bank. It's just kind of a plastic. Um, so it's 24,000 milliamp hours with a model 14508. AC output 110 volts at 80 watts max. Try to get that for you guys. Maybe. All right. Um, USB output is five volts, two point one amps on each. Protect short circuit and overcharge protection, and I mean, that's pretty much it. Coming back over here, we have this that opens up, and you have your outlet with a neutral, so that's good. That closes up. You have your on off switch, which seems okay. You got your DC in, and then your two USBs, as well as that, which tells us that we have three out of the four bars. So it's just a regular um, barrel connector. So it's just a regular barrel connector. Alright. And then if we look at this end, it's not very large. But then you can see that it's uh, 100 through 240 volts at 0 0.6 amps max with an output of 16.8 volts or and at 1 amp. So if I had to guess, it's probably a 12 volt battery that steps it to 120 or 110 for the AC and then steps the 12 volt down to the 5 volt for the USB ports. And just to make sure the AC output is only good for uh, 80 watts. So yeah, I mean that's the unboxing. I mean, you got look this and then questions. There's your questions card. And then here's the back. Alright, so AC out proves to work just by this little on off switch. Well, sometimes. I guess it probably doesn't like that. Alright, so you cannot um, have it charge while outputting, which was expected because that's how most uh, battery banks are which is kind of whatever. So I believe my only gripe so far with this is that it requires this um, barrel connector and the power brick or the AC the DC converter just doesn't seem like it's very well made. Uh, I would much prefer something a little bit smaller than probably like about this size. Um, those seem to be more reliable and maybe even produce a uh, cleaner output. But that's, that's just my one gripe so far. And the fact that um, it'd be hard to find another charger. But that was the unboxing of the Hyper Gear, the Power Brick portable charger at 24,000 milliamp hours.